Uh, you know me. Some of you know me anyway. A lot of you know me. We have about 30,000 people now, uh, followers, I call them, uh, you know, on our website and on our um, YouTube. So anyway, the uh, Laramie Peak Volunteer Fire Department Fire Zone up here around Laramie Peak at the base of Black Mountain. Um, so anyway, right now I just want to give you a little bit of information and show you uh, a new knife uh, that I'm giving away. Sharpensbest.com is giving away. And this is the 2018 Laramie Peak Volunteer Fire Department Annual Fundraiser Poker Run. So you can look us up, uh, Laramie Peak Volunteer Fire Department, and it'll probably, you know, on Facebook and stuff, uh, the next year's 2018 Memorial Day, May, into May, uh, you know, and that's, that's where you can go to get more information on it. So this is the fire hall that got built here, uh, I'm thinking 2012. Uh, $475,000 um, for this and a, a four bay uh, workshop so you can work on the vehicles and stuff there. Um, I don't know, I guess uh, maybe we just take a quick run out here um, and take a look. It's going to be dark for just a second. Uh, go down the hall here, two bathrooms there, laundry room, hot water heater, stuff there. Then you come out here, and this is the, the workstation, the work bay, where you can work on the trucks. That's called a deuce and a half. It's a two and a half ton. It's an old military vehicle. It's a six by six, all six wheels pull. And uh, low geared, that thing climb a mountain straight up if it get any traction. Huge winch on the front. Um, we do have a couple, actually, uh, the Honda here. Um, it's like a mule side by side. Uh, use it for quick attack, getting people in and out to fires, uh, taking food, water, shovels, supplies, things like that, chainsaws, gasoline, uh, you know, to a fire that we can get this into. Um, the deuce and a half is actually duels, and all six axles pull, so that thing will go where you can't begin to believe it'll go if you slow it down and make it go. Uh, you know, some gas cans, fire hose, fire hose. Um, this is called... A float pump. Okay. Float pump pumps have their own motor, their gas, and everything else. It has a suction and an outlet, inlet and outlet. Um, I think they weigh about, I don't know, 45 pounds. You hook a, uh, your suction up to it and uh, the exit to go into your truck, and you just throw it off into a pond, a lake, a river, uh, tie it off, and let it set out there float, float a pump, and then you can fill your trucks out of a pond, a horse trough, or anything that this will float in, because your suction is actually right here on the back. So that's the exit. This is the inlet. Extremely handy little gadgets. Of course, your chainsaws that are used, about 18, 20 pounds. This is a 372 Husqvarna, and uh, that's a really good saw. It'll work you to death. If you'll actually go out and work it. If you work it like you're supposed to, it'll work you to death. So we can run back in here. Uh, I'm always working somehow to try to figure out, you know, today I'm cutting brush and stuff around the big water bladder out there. But uh, what I did is I decided to give one of my knives away. And when I say my knife, uh, this is number eight. E.J. Snyder designed this knife. Okay, this is number eight. It's signed by E.J. Snyder. It is the SXB model, and SXB stands for Skull Crusher Extreme Blade E.J. Snyder. Made by Top Knives, Tops actually, Tops Knives. So I had E.J. sign eight of these and number them, and they're all gone except for this one. I kept it. And part of the reason I kept it is I just wanted one of those knives, okay? It's, it's a heavy knife. It's a big knife. Uh, it's for survival. Uh, it does have the patented uh, saw on the back here. It's not offset, so it doesn't saw real good, but they're up and down, you know, up like down like that. Um, it does have a rounded edge, right? Oop, be careful because that thing is crazy freaking sharp. Um, it has a rounded edge here. If you have a stick and you want to make a point on it, you put the stick in there like this and then capture it in that rounded and you, and you carve on it like that. The sweet spot for chopping is right here. The weight of this knife is about, I believe it's almost two pounds. And then you can hang on to it like this and you can do some finer work that way. It does have the holes here that you can lash to a stick with a hole here in the back. 
you can take the scales off of the sides and there's holes in it so you can actually lash through this, through here, around the stick to where it's really, so you have a spear, you know, you can jab into the water, you could, you could literally fight lions with a eight foot stick and that much that you can jab with. It's heavy enough to chop with, and it's just a really cool knife, and this was gonna be my knife out of the set, but I decided that I'm gonna donate the knife. So E.J. Snyder, made by Topps Knives out of Idaho, 100% American, American designed, American built, and uh, it's just a really cool knife. Uh, the sheath has a leg tie for it. It also has your emergency, let's just hold still for a second. Get a hold of these folks, ask for Greg. Uh, purchase American made, help them out. <whistles> so you got a whistle, emergency whistle. There's also a pocket right here. Okay, that stays nice and tight and shut. Do this, open it up, and guess what's inside? Yep, I even gave them a Sharpen Spark. Sharpen Spark is uh, kind of our flagship uh, product. We do have a new one coming out now that's called a Survival Sharpen Fire. And it's green, has a whistle. Um, and this is pretty cool. You unscrew the black from the red, you have a fire starter in there, it's called Ferrocerium Rod. So you take the hard sharp corners from the tungsten carbide knife sharpener, lay it against there and give it a kick and uh, you'll get your sparks that way. We do have a cross V carbide, which is this one right here. The cross V is for reshaping. If you really need to cut some metal off of a blade or you need to make a blade, maybe you have a hacksaw blade and you wanna make a short knife out of it, snap it off, do about that much of it, run it through here and uh, then turn it over and clean it up and you'll have a pretty good sharp knife. A hacksaw blade isn't, you know, it's not real tough, but for fine work or, you know, cutting food and fruit and stuff like that, that'd work good. So it's made out of nylon, tungsten carbide, ferrocerium rod. It's got a ring on it here. And that would go right in here, just like this. Okay, and then snap it back. Part of the reason this is one of the only sharpeners that we use on a Skull Crusher SXB there are no, there's just that, there, there are no straight parts on this blade. That dips down to here and then curves back up and then it's an outside radius all the way around. So to sharpen this knife, and I won't really do it because I don't want to scuff this knife up at all. You would just go along like this, turn it, and then go right on around, right off the tip like that. And you can go in full length motions like this. You can come down in here like that, back up here like that. You can go this direction, you can go that direction, you can come down this way, and then if you slow down, it comes up and right on around. It comes up and right on around. So this is one of the only tools you'll find that really actually sharpens a knife like that because of the radiuses. Every bit of that blade is a radius, whether it's an inside radius or an outside radius. It's a really cool knife. Uh, I'm gonna buy a few more of these. I'll probably buy half a dozen of these and they're gonna be sold on sharpensbest.com and I gotta get them ordered pretty soon. Uh, so what I'm actually giving the volunteer fire department here is an estimated value of about $350. You can buy the knife for $275 online uh, plus shipping. So $275 to $350 is E.J. Snyder's signature, the number eight and the uh, authenticity paper that comes with it that EJ signed. So this is number eight, just like it says there. Okay, and I'll hold still. I'll we'll just kind of look it over. And of course you can pause your video for just a second. Look, EJ Snyder signed it. Certificate of Signature Authenticity. Okay, and this is uh, Tops Knives SXB number V1 1688 and uh, this was actually signed officially April the 21st 2016 number 8 in order signed tops SXB so anyway it's a collector's item um, and I'm donating it to the fire hall last three years I've donated knives to the fire hall in May, uh, Memorial Day weekend, the annual fundraiser poker run, uh, which is just a crazy good time. I, if you've seen this video, if you're looking at this video and you've seen the other videos, please come up to the base of Laramie Peak, the base of Black Mountain, kind of triangulate in, look for uh, Hubbard's Mountain Cupboard. 
I think they're going to change the name and it's going to be Black Mountain Lodge. Uh, but at any rate, go Facebook, uh, Laramie Peak Volunteer Fire Zone, uh, you know, and find us that way. Come participate. It's $40 uh, to buy a poker hand, so you have five stations. This is Station 1 and Station 5. Station 2 and 3 and 4 are out. We do about a 50-mile run. And we just loved it this year, absolutely loved it, because it rained about three days before the poker run. It rained up to 10 o'clock the morning of the poker run, so we had no dust, but we had mud to play in. <laughs> it's way more fun to play in the mud than it is a dry, dusty road, way more fun. And then when you get off on some of the trails that we take, there's deep, you know, there's water, there's mud, there's water running. Um, you got to spin a little bit, you got to play a little bit, and then of course you got to throw mud on your neighbor behind you. He throws mud on the neighbor behind him, you know, it's fun. So when we get back here, so you're out, you draw your first card here, then you're out, you draw a second card, third card, fourth card somewhere, and then when you get back here, you draw your fifth card. So it's a poker hand. You know, uh, you're looking for four of a kind, full house, uh, you know, a straight, straight flush, um, things like that. Uh, this year, and I, I don't see it still up here. For quite a while, they had uh, first place actually paid $1,600. So, I mean, it's, it's not a little deal. Uh, characteristically, people donate half of that back to the fire hall. Um, sometimes they donate it all back. Uh, this year, um, in the, the gal that won the knife donated it back, and she said, I want to auction this knife off here now to help pay for a new ice machine. So I'm standing there and I bid, somebody else bid, somebody else bid, somebody else bid. It got bid up to $360. I bought it. And then I donate, donated the knife back, paid the $360, donated the knife back and another guy that really wanted it, like the whole year he wanted this knife so bad. So anyway, he started to bid, a couple other people bid, I bid. When it got up to $200, I quit bidding. The guy that really wanted it got it for 200 instead of 360, which he had bid 355 earlier, and he got it for two. So uh, it was just fun because I knew when I'd quit, and I didn't really want the knife back. I wanted people, I wanted somebody else to have it, and uh, so that was a lot of fun. And um, I'll probably be around for this knife this year, and we'll just see how it goes. So I'm Brad Buckner. This is a fun day. It's a fun place. It's a good place. It's good people. It's for a good cause. Um, my aunt, Tiny Walker, worked literally for 10 years. I mean, worked hard to get $475,000 put together. Uh, Dave True from True Enterprises, True Oil, True Ranches, uh, David L. True Jr. was the one who actually ended up donating the two and a half acres for this. So thank you. True, T-R-U-E, Wyoming, uh, local businessman, uh, Dave True Sr., um, you know, started up here, so I, I thank him. Uh, Laramie Peak Fire Zone thanks him. It's a good deal. Uh, so the land was donated. Tiny worked so hard to get grants and everything. That's my aunt. And um, so that's kind of how it all came together and everything. Uh, Hubbard's Mountain Covered is 100 yards from here to the south, right on the same road here. And uh, so anyway, Jeff and, and Shanna that have it, terrific people, help them. And uh, just come up and enjoy. Don't tear up. Come up. Don't tear up. If you brought it up, pack it back with you. Keep it clean. We'd love to have you. This is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. You take care and stay sharp out there.